Hello and good afternoon and welcome to another show on Praise Talk Show. My name is Praise Praise. Well, this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so grateful um, for the opportunity to come again once one more time to your screen or in the comfort of your home or wherever you are watching this show right now. We want to thank the Lord for another week. We also want to thank the Lord for protecting um, the city of London um, yet again from another um, attack. Um, as I've been saying on this show, and I uh, believe that the church has also been speaking that it, it is time or in this season, you and I as Christians need to arise, not just to pray for the city of London, but to pray for your nation, whatever nation you represent. Please make sure that you stand in the gap for that nation. There's so many nations that have experienced the hurricane um, over the previous weeks, their homes that have been destroyed, lives that have been distorted. Um, please let's lift up our voices while you're bringing your needs before the Lord. Remember your neighbor. Remember the people in your nation, in your community, the people that you work with, the people that you come across every day. You know, whatever way you can pray for them, please stand in the gap. And as you do so, I believe that the Lord would reward you mightily in Jesus' name. Um, I do have a guest today. Um, she's a woman of God and um, very experienced in her area of ministry. I'll be bringing her your way very soon, um, very shortly. And she'll be talking about a conference. She'll be sharing us about a conference that will be hosted or held right here in the city of London. I'm sure you are about to be blessed. But please help me spread the word. Tell your friends, tell your loved ones that Praise Talk Show is on. If you're watching me on the social media platforms, please, um, first of all, I want to thank you for those of you that are on a weekly basis, share this um, video or this program. Please help me right now, like and share, um, so that we can spread the word on every platform that we find ourselves. We are spreading good news to somebody that might be watching you don't know what would touch them what would empower them what would build them up what would encourage them as they watch this video those of you that um, are watching me right now please don't hesitate to leave your feedback or your comments um, start a conversation um, somebody's watching this show with you and would be also glad to hear from you but please don't go away. If you're having any troubles watching us on the social media platforms, don't forget that you can also watch us on www.faithworldtv.com. Faithworldtv.com. And thank you as well for those of you that have been supporting me right here on this network, Faith World TV Sky Channel 590. God is doing a work through this show and I'm sure that you have been blessed. So you can also contact me on any of my social media platforms, either on Facebook, Praise Praise, or either on Twitter, Praise Talk Show, also on Instagram, Praise Talk Show. I'll be right um, there to get in touch with you. If you'd like to come on the show, please do not hesitate to contact me. If you have an event, you have a book, you have a product that you'd like um, the people of the world to know, Listen, there's a platform here that is made available to you. Um, so don't hesitate to contact me and let me help you spread the word. I will be right back after this. Need to reach out to the world? Faith World Studio can help you do just that. We specialize in TV and radio commercials for church conferences and activities, business and events, TV production with broadcast quality, music videos, video editing, photography, leaflets, flyer designs, voiceovers. We also provide image consultancy, social media consultation, as well as helping you get your ministry and business on the right advertising platforms. For all media solutions for your ministry and business, contact Faith World Studio today on 0207 635 6197 or visit faithworldtv.com. Faith World Studio, helping you to reach the world. Do not settle for the devil's lies. Do not give up on your marriage and family. Help has come.
come for you. God has ordained his servant, Joy Arlede Tan, to write two life-transforming books which will help you overcome and be victorious in your marriage and life. Over the Storm of Life is a book that will equip you to face the storms and not settle for the rat race and strive for God's inheritance. Christian Marriage and Family Life is a book written to give your biblical insights and revelations about your marriage. You can get any of these books today for yourself or as a gift for someone. Buy Over the Storm of Life today for as little as £2.99 as an ebook or a paper cover for only £12.95. Buy Christian Marriage and Family Life today for as little as £2.95 as an ebook or on paper cover for only £11.95. You can buy any of these books on Amazon.com, Joseph Book.com, or any of the online sites on the screen. Alternatively, you can call 0795 096 5959. Get your copies today. somebody awesome God he is so good in him there's no darkness no shadow of turn just wave those hands to Jesus Well, you are welcome back. I'm sure you were enjoying that worship music um, from Minister Sinatch. God is indeed glorious in all of his ways and he makes our lives so beautiful. May your life become beautiful as you spend time in the presence of the Lord or as you get to know him better. Because um, she also sang a song that says, 
um, you make our life so beautiful. Um, as he, as beautiful as the Lord is, he's made your life so beautiful. But please help me welcome, um, first time to Praise Talk Show, mm -hmm. the visionaire of um, Royal Ladies International Ministries, and she's right here in person, all the way from, I don't know if it's Lagos, Nigeria, <laughs> but from Nigeria, somewhere in Nigeria. Somewhere Nigeria. <laughs> somewhere Nigeria. <laughs> Reverend Fola Achu Dome. Am I all right, ma'am? Yes, Thank you're right. you. You are welcome Thank to you Praise so much. Talk Show. Thank you. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have you here. Thank you. I have indeed heard a lot about you, mm. and um, I thank the Lord for... Um, the opportunity for you to be right here on Praise Talk Show and for you to also um, meet my viewers for the first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sure you had a safe flight yes, all the I way did. from... Yes, I did. From, where, did you, where, where did you come well, from? Well, I came in from Abeokuta Ogun State in okay. Nigeria. Okay, mm. Just about one and a half one and a half hours drive right. to Lagos. To Lagos. So you've flown in from Lagos. Yes, I did. Right, you've flown yeah. in from Lagos, <laughs> Nigeria. And I'm sure that the weather met you well. Yes, <laughs> yes. It, it's, it's quite um, okay. It's, it's quite, quite okay. Quite, it's quite okay. <laughs> okay. Seeing that it's not your first time, how yeah. have you found London every time you've come in? Well, it's it's been interesting weather-wise, okay. of course. It's flame, you know, it just changes just like that. Uh, one moment it's cold, the other moment it's... We have four seasons in one Ooh, day. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, we thank God for that. Mm. Um, but you have been hosting your, your conference, and you said for the last seven years, yes. by the grace of God, which I believe, you know, anyone that comes from um, out of the United Kingdom and hosts a program here, yes. um, we, have to, we have to salute them. Because it's, it's not you. it's not very easy, definitely. Uh, especially Thank you. when you're not you don't have a ministry base here or you're mm -hmm. not well known in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. you know. But for you to have been able to do it for seven years, um, it doesn't just mean that there's grace. It also means that there's substance yeah. that people we, have been benefiting from. We, we thank God. Amen. We thank so God. we're looking forward to um, another time by God's grace mm -hmm. in His presence, mm -hmm. um, not just with yourself but also with your your guest speaker mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. will be at the conference. Mm -hmm. But please tell us a little bit about yourself, Reverend Folu. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I'm Fola Hachudume. Right. Um, a pastor. Yeah. Pastor a church with my husband back in Nigeria, Victory Life Bible Church. Okay. But then, after some time, God asked me to do this Royal Ladies mm -hmm. International Ministry, which is not church-based. Yeah. It's an interdenominational ministry to reach out to people to break denominational walls. Amen. So I've been out there, you know, um, getting people connected with their purpose, Amen. Uh, ensuring a peaceful and fulfilling homes in terms of marriages, family, um, bringing out wisdom in how to raise children such that our night seasons in terms of joy is secured. I also hmm, I like that. Work, Our night seasons. Yes, in terms of joy okay. is secured. Okay. Yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit for, what, what you mean night seasons before you Very good. Yeah. I'm one person that uh, believes so much that the life of any man is yeah. divided into four. Okay. I always tell people that um, um, we're living, you, one could say that it is, uh, it is more like three, but I, there's, you, you can coin out the fourth one. Number one is the morning season of life. Mm. We have the afternoon season of life. We have the evening season of life, and then the night season of life. Okay. Now whatever happens to you in your night season is a function of what you did in the other three seasons. And um, there is no how you can escape it. As long as you are alive, mm. it is bound to happen. Nobody can stop the seasons. It comes, it just gives up one for the other mm -hmm. based on our age mm -hmm. and the time we are living. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people at their night season regrets. Mm -hmm. I tell people every day that there are about three, three words that I was able to coin out that should not speak in your life, mm -hmm. particularly in your night season. And that is number one, I could have what you could have done that you didn't do in the night season, you may regret it. Wow. I would have what you would have done 
that you didn't do in the night season, it's certain you will regret it. I should have. What I should have done that I didn't do, mm. I will regret it in the night season. So the could, the would, and the should, yeah. those are things that we should ensure that we do now. We do now. S so right. that the ninth season's so joy right. is guaranteed. Okay. I hope you got that. The <laughs> could have, the would have, and the should have. Yes. If those are things that you need to do, you need to do them now. So that in the night seasons, you would have joy. Yes. You know, because we, uh, many a times as, as, as individuals, we live as in the now. Yes. Um, and not not remember, not thinking that there will be There's a, a night. There's a tomorrow. Nobody, no one wants to get to the night seasons. But you can't stop life. it. You wow. can't stop it. That's Nobody right. can hold it. It's like wanting to hold time. Mm. No matter how you do like this, you can't. You can't. And uh, it's something that everybody should accept. Yes. And everybody should prepare themselves for. Right. And uh, as long as you are able to do what you should do in the other seasons, there's nothing to be afraid of in the night season. But the problem comes when you didn't do what you should have done. Mm. When that is not in place, there is that regret that sets in in the night season. Okay, ma'am. Mm. So, first of all, in doing what you should be doing now, mm -hmm. how do I identify that, that I'm working in my season? Very good. Now, uh, one of the things I say again is that yesterday is gone. Yes. And uh, yesterday belongs to history. Today is now. This is reality. Mm. And um, tomorrow, is still a mystery hmm. to unfold. What we have that is certain is now. Yeah. So what do we do now so that we don't lose the potency of tomorrow, what hmm. tomorrow we bring? is for you to align yourself with purpose. Wow. Align yourself with the reason why you are sent on this side of eternity. Hmm. A lot of people just exist. Mm -hmm. Many are not living. To be existing is natural to everybody because everybody came through a woman mm -hmm. as long. That is what gave us a license for existence. Mm -hmm. But what gives you the license for living in the true sense of living and making a difference in your life is your purpose. Mm -hmm. Realizing why did you come to the side of eternity. And until you are able to personally get an understanding of that, discover it, leave it, you are bound to have a night season of sorrow. Because it is inside our purpose that our joy is. It is inside our purpose that our energy is. We get our energy by locating what you are sent to do mm. and you are doing it. It does not matter to what dimension or magnitude, as long as you know that I'm doing something and I'm happy with this thing. Definitely, something is waiting for you tomorrow. Because God is not a taskmaster. Mm. He is not a wicked God. He is a faithful God who is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him to discover why did I send you here. Mm. Every one of us has it. And until you discover it, you may not be able to really appreciate the living in the true sense of it in that context. Wow. There is much to be done. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't just exist. Yes, we must live. So that we can live. We must live. And um, there's so much more to you, Pam. Mm. Uh, I know I, we had a break. <laughs> we had a break there <laughs> for you to break down, you know, what you meant by uh, having joy in the night season. Yes. I don't know that that is really saying something to me right mm. now. Mm. And I believe that's probably ministering to someone because there's the mm. things that, you know, statements are made lightly, but they're very deep. Mm -hmm. And if you want to ensure that there's joy in your night season, there are things that you and I need to do now. Night Wow. One of the things that, before we go um, back into what, what you do about yourself, one of the things that I realize that is happening in this season of the church, man, there's a lot of catching up that is happening. And while the catching up is going on, people are being hurt, mm -hmm. people are being abused, mm -hmm. people are being bruised mm -hmm. because it's saying, what have you been doing all your life? You know, you've been wasted, you've wasted your life. It's like there's a lash back and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's time to awaken up, it's time to get up. But it's almost like 
if that individual was working in their purpose, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't have such a rude awakening mm -hmm. for them to now catch up. Catch up, yeah. Um, sometimes it's almost like the leadership mm -hmm. has been, uh, well, not walked in season. And so when the leadership awake or, or comes to an enlightenment, mm -hmm. then everybody else has to come to an enlightenment, not mm -hmm. knowing if those people were actually in their seasons and it was you that was mm. not in your season mm -hmm. that because I'm awake now everybody has to to awake to, <laughs> to you know <laughs> begin to catch up but I realize that the catching up is, is a very um, delicate um, season you know and um, I pray that what you're saying to us today um, you know people would not have to find themselves having to catch up mm -hmm. do you mm -hmm. know what I mean Matt? yes because if you have to catch up and um, to ensure that your night season if there's joy in your night season there's then there's work that needs to be to be done, done. now but yeah. what, what can you say to that man now you, you see one thing I tell um, people is that like you're saying a catching up mm. and all those stuff the moment you realize that probably there are things that I should have done that I didn't do, things I would or could have done that I didn't do, and you are ready. All you need to do is to take it from there. Now, there's no point regretting one's life. The point is align yourself back to purpose. Um, it's never too late. Mm. So, when you realize it's never too late, just do what you need to do now. Okay. Just connect with it. In terms of probably, you see, you can't, everybody, I, I get a lot of questions about how do I know my purpose? What are you really talking about? Now, sometimes um, some people want to tell me that your purpose can be dramatically, you know, revealed to you. No, it doesn't have to. Now, as long as you take every event of your life, what you represent, and you take it one after the other, and you are faithful with it, you are gradually working on the line of purpose. I tell people, okay, what makes you happy? What if I wake you up 2 a.m. in the night and you are ready to do? I mean, and I say, come and do it, and you are happy to do it. You won't think twice, you won't do this. These are things that talks about your purpose. But beyond that, beyond that, how are you treating your marriage? It's about purpose. How are you treating your children now? It's about purpose. Mm. How are you treating what is in your hand presently? Probably are you in unemployment? Are you doing business? It's your purpose. Now, when you get all these things that surrounds you right, and you begin to take it one step after the other, you do what you should do on your children. You don't leave them to, at the mercy of men, mm -hmm. at the mercy of others. Mm -hmm. You are there as a mother. You are mm -hmm. there as a father, giving them the attention, giving them the love, giving them the correction, doing what you should do as a mother. Then you're securing a joy in your night season. Your husband, you give him the love, you don't abandon him, you don't let society dictate what you should do with your husband that is contrary to whatever God says in the scriptures. You are giving him your time, you are giving him your attention, you are giving him what you should give him as a wife. It's in line with your purpose. As long as you are putting all these things in place, you are gradually walking and walking and walking. When you make mistakes, we are bound to hair as human beings. You realize it, you jump up, you ask father, have mercy on me, I'm ready again. You connect to it, heaven watches over you, it helps you. As you are diligently doing this, uh -huh, you are getting there. Amazing. I'm, I'm smiling because this is what is called, the circular people call it consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Being able, you know, to be in the moment. Yes. Do what you need to do in the moment. Take charge right Take of the charge moment. Of that moment. That's it right. is called consciousness so that we don't live a life of regret. And so you've just really just nailed, you know, just nailed it so that the way that we can secure joy in our night seasons is to be conscious of every of the moment. moment. Be mindful. That is right. Mindful that is right. uh -huh. um, of what we're doing. Are you a student? Right. Do you do your academics? Right. You 
you focus on it, right. you study, right. you don't give anybody, you don't shift blame right. on others. Take right. responsibility for your life. Right. If you have been broken, take mm. responsibility. Mm. Now, okay, I, I, I was bruised, mm -hmm. I was wounded, this happened to me, this happened, but that's not all about your life. That's just an event in your life. So you will not allow one event to stop every other event. Wow. You won't let one event make everything to be stopped by consuming, you, you're being consumed with the troubles, the wounds, the bruises, the brokenness, makes you to lose touch and every other aspect of your life begin to suffer. You are going to regret in your night season. Right. And then you begin to cast blame. It's because he did that to me. I was jilted. I was broken. I had mental this. I had this. I had that. Depression and all those things. Take charge over it. Even if you are broken, rise up. You can be broken, but don't remain broken. Mm. Now, work on it. And as you are doing that, you are guaranteeing a joy. Your you are season. guaranteed a joy in your night season. I am so, I am so excited about what God is bringing your way, um, especially at this time um, of our lives. In the seasons of our lives, we are, you know, four months away to the, the end, end of the year of another <laughs> year, and it's um, this season of life, or it's you know, season of the year that people begin to take count, mm -hmm. take count of mm -hmm. what they have been doing, take count of you know, the previous um, nine months of the, or eight months of the year, mm. what has taken place, yeah. what you've been able to achieve, what you have not been able to achieve. Many of the times we sit on the regret wall mm -hmm. rather than the, great, the, the gratefulness or the gratitude wall. Um, and um, start, you know, that's where the depression kicks Comes in. in. Yeah. You know, if the, 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 the scale is not balanced. Mm -hmm. um, um, but you can, you know, the woman of God said something, you can't change yesterdays, mm -mm. but you can start from now. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, just do what you need to do now so that that joy can still be ensured. Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank the Lord for your life, Thank ma. you. You know, mm -hmm. and, you, you know, you, what you... you let, yeah. let me say this about today. Yes. You know, you know, when you look at yesterday, today, and the future in terms of the past, yes. the present, and the future, and the future mm -hmm. you know, you will see that today is a present. Yes. It's a present that is packaged for you. Wow. Okay. What do you do with the present? You appreciate it. Yes. You cherish it. If I'm giving a good gift, you know how I guard it. Yes. So that's how we must guard our now, our present. It's a present in our hand. And therefore, do what we need to do. Do what you need to do. Take that's it right. like that. That's it becomes right. valuable. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I keep hearing, do not waste your time. Don't waste it. Do not waste your time. Cherish your time. Look at what you're doing with your time um, so that you can account for it um, at the end. And um, the other areas that God is using you, Mary, is in the area of leadership yeah. and also in the area of marriage. Yeah. Okay, so what's the focus in the area of leadership? Leadership, I, I, I do a lot of uh, mentoring, mm -hmm. coaching, mm -hmm. you know, raising ladies building a culture of dignity okay. in the ladies making them to rise up you see i, I believe so much in in the woman okay. i believe there's so much treasures that if a woman is given an opportunity she can do something yes. so but at the same time i also saw that our excuses are not enough to stop us as women so we built grace and built strength, built tenacity mm -hmm. in the woman I to become <laughs> <laughs> to become what mm -hmm. she's meant to be. Right. So we we I, I work on calling that treasure out mm -hmm. and not allowing situations of life mm -hmm. to stop it. Mm -hmm. It does not matter what you've been through. Mm -hmm. It does not matter what has happened to you. It does not matter what men has thrown at you. The issue is that there's something in me. There's more in me. And it yeah. is that more I call out. Wow. Bringing them and aligning them to the reason and the essence of their, of, 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 of their existence. Why God created them. And giving them a platform mm. to make them to be fulfilled in every area of life. Yeah. Is it in marriage? Is it in the corporate world? Mm -hmm. The career, in the business or whatever it is. 
I, I don't believe that the woman should be should live in denial or depriv uh, deprivation yeah. that I don't have. I don't have. I believe the woman can have. I believe, I believe the woman can be in charge. I also believe that. She can that. also find. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I also believe that she can be all these yeah. and yet be a wife. I believe so much. So that's where the marriage comes into it. Mm. I believe she can be a wife, a wife because you cannot stay out of what God, you can't stay out of, you know, the jurisdiction that God has given a woman and want to be fulfilled in life. So yes, we can have, you know, grace that makes us look somebody, so maybe we may say that that woman looks like a man. Yes, she may look like, but she is a woman. So I believe that with every success a woman can get, she still